Hey guys, what's going on, man? Good to have y'all back with us here on the channel, the Bee Fishing Channel, which that's what we're trying to do is be fishing. I got my right hand bud up there with me, paddling around, doing a little sightseeing. <clears throat> man, he's getting really good in use of that yak. Anyways, guys, this video is a little different. You know, I'm trying to get better at uh, editing and and actually getting better footage to edit. <laughs> Sometimes that can be a little bit difficult. Sometimes to get fish on the channel may be a little difficult depending on the situation. I got hours and hours and hours of footage. It's really good footage. Unfortunately, there just ain't no fish in it. And that's probably not too good for a fishing channel. Anyways, we got a lot of hookups on this one today. We actually got into a lot of rain today, which really made for some good fishing by the end. So you guys go ahead and stick around and let's go ahead and get into some hookups and see what we got. So up here we got it coming up, a little old bass that was laying up underneath that cypress tree right there. Kind of knew he'd be up there, you know, a lot of times they like to hang out in the little spots and bam, yeah, oh, there he is. Come on, little joker. You know, one thing about fishing the river, there's some monster bass in here, but you can see how clear that water is. I think I said it before, this river especially. Sometimes it makes it a little difficult. I guess that could be me just making excuses, I don't know. But there's one down, let's go on and check out another. See what's happening. You know one thing of one thing about it, uh, I always like looking for pads when I'm fishing. Seems like there's always something laying around there. And I wanna bring this little dink in right here. Hey, you made my boat ripple a little bit, you seen it? A little pull down on it. But uh, hey, it's a fish. I'll take it. Especially when ain't a whole lot going on. But look how big he is when I put him up in the camera. You guys see that? Look at that monster. Okay, this next one here, just just a little bit down from where I caught that one at right there. Um, is this one going to be bigger or smaller? I don't know if he could get much smaller, could it? Well, let's find out if it did or didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to let the cat out the bag until it comes up out the water. It could be huge folks, it could be a monster, it could be that big boy, actually that big girl, but it ain't, I think it's that other one's little brother, <laughs> no it ain't a sister cause she'd be bigger than that, but hey, it's still a bass, still a little bit of a rod bend, actually it's like about the twin brother don't it, I'll take it. Now keep your eyes out guys, I'm fixing this a 10 pounder, there it is! Oh, I got off. What a monster. Well, maybe it wasn't quite 10 pounds, but, uh, anyways. <laughs> maybe 10 ounces. But hey, that's fishing. Heck, I'm just glad to see something's hitting it. There's always there's a lot of fun when you go out. It's no fun. We Actually, I should take that back. It is fun, even if you don't catch anything. You get some beautiful scenery, I mean. But it is a bonus when you do. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on around the corner. You know, I just thought this area here looks so cool. Check out that stump. I wonder how long that thing has been in this river. The tree and everything. It's hard to say. But this whole area right here really looks fishy. It kind of goes off on the, uh, the beaten path there and the water slows down. So I really want to go back in this little crevice thing and little path around see what I can find back there you know it not only did it just look good from trying to catch a fish standpoint but it just looked good just from a scenery standpoint you know, that's when you're out here on this yak and stuff doing it you know the fishing is a big part of it but man when you come across some of these beautiful places like this oh and a fish like that well not quite like that <laughs> anyways um, it does make it a lot of fun. So if you guys never thought about getting into kayak fishing, you know, you can go get you a cheap one and give it a shot. I'll just go ahead and show you all this monster here. Ooh, boy. Look at him. As you guys can see, the rain is starting to come down. But, uh, the fishing actually starting to pick up. That little joker there, he wasn't really snagging the belly, he just kind of wrapped around and spin. But he was a little dink, threw him back, and just kept coasting in the same area, just a little bit further down. 
right here on one of these cypress trees. That's one of my favorite place to go to. Anytime I see those cypress trees, I usually like to throw them the, the back side of them there where the current's flowing to. Or at least when I'm flowing with this current, it's still right there, straight out in front, and the worm just kind of drifts with it. You don't have to do a whole lot. Uh, so I, what I've been trying to do lately is just paddle way up the river and come back down. Yeah, and there we go. Now that rain's really starting to pick up a bit. It's starting to look dark out there. Well, there wasn't no thunder and lightning going on, but uh, anytime I've ever been out here in this river and it gets like this, man, the fishing gets hot. I look for the weather report. I wanted to say rain. <laughs> no lightning, though. It's a scary thing to get way out there and some lightning popping around. I've had that actually happen. There's another little dink for your view and pleasure. My little man held strong there. He never really even started complaining about the rain. I figured he may have to go, but he's like, shoot, he kind of liked it. You know, when it's been really hot and that rain starts to come down, it uh, actually feels pretty good. Here comes up another little dink, actually. Look at this. I wish I had something. I didn't have nothing with me, with me to punch through that grass bed right there. But anytime I've ever been swimming out here in this river, and of course I haven't swum in this part of it, but you get under those, you look under those grass cover like that really thick, man, there's some nice bass down there. Unfortunately, this one coming up isn't one of them. <laughs> but that may be the smallest one of the day. They call this show the Dink Fest. What's another one? Ooh, the worm is almost bigger than he is. But hey, what are you going to do? I'll take him. Now right here, um, if I'm not mistaken yet, this is one of the the better fish of the day. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of good footage of me catching him. He stayed pretty much down when uh, when he hit. I mean, he's on right now. I got him right here next to the boat. It's kind of popped up. I'll give you guys a little picture of him. But I, you know, I didn't get good footage of that. That's what I'm talking about. I really got to get get my editing dialed in, get the video and dialed in. But you know, it's a tough gig. I gotta give your hats off to these guys. There he is, right there, from the town. Anyways, like I said, you gotta give your hats off to these guys. That, man, go out here and do all this serious fishing and get the good footage. That's not that easy. If anybody thinks it is, boy, I tell you what, if I didn't give it a shot. You know, there I got a little backlash in my pole, and while I'm sitting there undoing it, boop, another little bass goes ahead and takes a stab at it. About. Yeah. yeah, there he is, surfing across the water a little bit. Not too much. That's a little bit better. Those nice fish. I tell you one thing, these are some good eating fish. I don't keep them all the time. I didn't keep them all the time, but when I do, when I want some fresh fish, my goodness, they are excellent. Now this boy, the rain is just coming down now. <laughs> I thought I'd stop, change my shirt. It'd be a little bit better than the rain just took off. Oh, there's a nice fish though. I'm gonna this one. Right into the camera. Man, yeah, if you look at some of their stomachs sometimes, they look like they're empty. Them things must be starving. I, I probably should be cleaning out some of these smaller fish and taking them home. Well. I guess that wasn't the last hookup. I forgot. That's right. The rain kind of subsided a little bit. And for a minute, it was off and on. It, it really didn't subside that much. I had a little break here, but uh, I'll kind of show you guys what it ended up being. I'll kind of take the video out with that. Kind of got into some trees for a little shelter. I don't know why we got an actual river. The water's 72 degrees, but I had a nice little fish there. Well guys, the rain really just would not stop. We caught plenty of fish, missed, I don't know, I missed a bunch more. Just kind of chilling out, relaxing out there, having a good old time, but uh, I figured we'd stop here at this spot, see if it'd chill out, but it just kept on coming down. So we decided to go ahead and take the boats on in. We're like drowned rats, and it was about a 45 minute ride back home. <laughs> so we said, yeah. 
But anyways, hey, I really appreciate you guys coming along on the trip with us. Um, it was really enjoyable. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything you'd like to see a little bit better, hey, shoot me a comment. Always don't a like doesn't hurt. And neither does a subscription. So hey guys, thanks a lot. Till the next time, you guys always be fishing.